Open Lab Ignite. We've got 14 speakers. And we have a very eclectic and fascinating group of people coming up. An Ignite Talk, an unconference. It's a hack on your traditional long, boring conference. Museums seem to love this phrase, and I really hate it. Pay your dues, we say. Do an unpaid internship or five. Work six part-time jobs after grad school. Heck, go to grad school. I've got a better pay phrase. How about you pay your interns? <laughs> Students know things. Using them to do more than just processing or more than just, you know, data entry. And actually getting them involved is, is great. They know stuff. They want to help. That's why they're in school. I'm breaking boundaries and doing things differently all the time in exhibits, in events, in education, and experiences. I believe that you need to bring people into museums, not only by the art on the wall, but also by interacting with people and, and having public programs. Museums are intellectual, textual, visual, and object-based. But bodies are complex. We learn on levels that are kinesthetic, multisensory, and not always processed in the language parts of the brain. Start with the senses. All of the senses. Historic places should not be boring. Open educational resources reduce barriers to access. Ensure ed educators have the rights to retain, reuse, revise, remix, and redistribute educational resources without having to ask permission. We've noticed that museums have a wealth of already approved content that can easily be put online. That so many institutions still seek to control high resolution images of public domain works of art is simply an abuse of their missions. Museum, mausoleum, it's just morbid wordplay. It's true though, you write tombstones for your collection. May they rest in storage. But what if your collections are alive, like never before, in a digital space? Let's follow the trails of museum objects, like fireflies dancing through a digital meadow. Digital technologies offer new tools, new approaches, and heightened levels of speed. So millions of people around the world are coming online in the next decade, as we all know, hungry for the expertise that resides in your institutions. Why don't we work together to set ambitious goals to meet their needs? All of these public institutions also have digital repositories, collections, research databases, social media, and other forums to share their groundbreaking research and projects. And many have already created curriculum plans for students to learn from their work. We need to create a shared language, and we need to have a transdisciplinary linking breaking down the silos. Every cultural institution has amazing stories as part of their existing intellectual capital. Tell the story of the content and act as a curator who is helping to teach, inform, and of course inspire. We, the people in this room, are the makers, we're the catalysts. Let's open this amazing field to more people of all backgrounds. Let's build window windows into our organizations instead of walls. Defy the tyranny of the precedent. I would encourage everyone to break a few rules now and then not gonna hurt you. Let's get to work. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Big round of applause for these amazing sponsors and uh, partners in co-convenience. This is